Hi, my name is Taylor. I'm working with Dr. Ajay Nair at the Iowa State University Horticulture Research Station in the Sustainable Vegetable Production Lab. Today we are in a plot where we are looking at a material called biochar. It is being used as a soil amendment, so we are incorporating it into the soil along with compost. We are testing to see whether or not the biochar will be somewhat of a container for nutrients so that we can hold those nutrients and have them be more readily available to plants. The compost will stimulate microbial activity. We're testing to see whether or not the compost will have an impact on how quickly the biochar will break down. Uh, we are looking at this in bell peppers, red bell peppers, and what will be cauliflower once the season is ready to start for that. Um, we are looking at a couple of different things here as well um, with the soil. We have a soil scientist on our team, Marshall McDaniel. Uh, we are looking at whether or not there will be nutrient leaching from the biochar, uh, if the biochar will, will affect the rate at which those nutrients leach from the soil. Um, it is said to be somewhat of that container for nutrients, so that's kind of the scope of how we're, how we're looking at that. Um, we are using a tool called lysimeters to catch the water that's coming through and then have a resin-based uh, bead to collect that nitrate. And we'll test that at the end of the season. We are also using soil uh, and air temperature sensors. The soil temperature sensors will look between treatments to see if there are different soil temperature changes to see if the biochar and the microbial activity has any effect on that. Um, we are also uh, doing air and light temperature sensors to adjust how or see how that is um, adjusted throughout the season as well so we can monitor those things in our plot. We also have incorporated some sweet alyssum um, to help with pests, particularly aphids. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we were um, planning ahead for any sort of problems that we might have. It attracts beneficial insects, so there will be um, predators for, for the aphids. Mm -hmm. So we have four rates of biochar that we have incorporated. The first is our control. It's zero pounds per acre of biochar added into the soil. Our second is 500 pounds per acre. Our third is 1,000 pounds per acre, and our fourth is 2,000 pounds per acre. We chose this based on other research, but also we wanted to have the scope of what a uh, horticulture um, farmer would be able to incorporate into their field economically as well. If they're already adding other things, they have other inputs into, into their system, we wanted to make sure that we would have something that would um, be economically feasible. Biochar is a material that is made of various things. It could be switchgrass, it could be mixed wood, um, things of uh, um, that type of material. It is burned at high temperatures in a low oxygen environment. Um, it can be burned at different times and you could get different results depending on that. There are oils, there are solids. We are working with a solid. Our biochar can come in different sizes. It's, this is more like vermiculite and perlite. There's also larger sizes that it can come in as well. So I'll go ahead and just spread some kind of evenly throughout the gandy. And as you can see, there's a lot of powder coming off of there. That's why we have to incorporate right away. Otherwise it might blow away in the wind. We use this gandy to make sure that the biochar spreads pretty evenly. It can also be used for seeding as well. 